What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. I'm basically recording this intro right here because this was my second spot that I went to that day and I really didn't find nothing at the first spot. So my intro was kind of real brief because uh, I just wanted to get in there. It was already late in the afternoon, close to them closing, closing time or whatever. So yeah, that's why it was real brief. So I decided to record this video real quick to properly introduce you. But as you saw by the thumbnail, we're at the Goodwill today, checking out what they have, and we did find a good amount of stuff. Anyway, let's get in there, see what they had. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe so you too can be part of that 200 Guy Kicks fam. Let's start off here. We got a Marvel tee. Still looks like it's brand new. It is small though, so yeah, we'll see. We got a medium tee here. It says in concert, Led Zeppelin. Tour of the World, Tokyo, Japan, 1971, but you can tell it's a newer tee, but still pretty cool, the graphic on it. Got a USC tee right here, pretty simple. Got a Nike Texas Rangers tee, not exactly sure what that's for, but uh, yeah. And I forgot, I didn't know there was a back to it, but uh, yeah, it's on the back of the tee. Got that tie-dye Bucky's tee. Peace, love, and beaver nuggets. I know a lot of people be like Bucky, so I might be taking this one. Got that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Rocket. Got that Cowboys T, says medium. Still looks like it's in good condition. This uh, NFC East on the sleeve. Got another official Cowboys T. It is white. But it actually looks pretty clean. Has that graphic. It says football on one side. Nothing over here. Uh, yeah, I guess. But it does have that stain right there. It would be good for a tie dye, but I don't know. I think about it probably. Got a collab tee right here. You see, it says Pop Tees and Batman. It has that logo on the front. The Pop Batman. Something different. No people went to pop right now. Got a Puma tee. Run like you stole it. Not bad. And of course we have to have the Kawhi. <laughs> All day I dream about sneakers. Adidas tee. This one's pretty dope. Has Adidas on the side. Still looks pretty pretty good condition. Adidas tag on there. Nothing on the back. Pretty dope tee. I'll be taking this one for sure. Got that Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming. It's Queens, New York. Pretty dope little tee. And right behind it, we got that DC Comics official. It's a medium Aquaman tee. Flyers, Philadelphia Flyers, Majestic. It does have like a little stain over there though. So probably gonna leave it. Toy Story. Got the local minor league baseball team right here, San Antonio Missions. It says on the thing, I think, 2012. Not like nothing crazy, but not bad. Uh, got a Rockaway tee right here, nothing crazy, but it's been a while since I've seen Rockaway. Got that Star Wars tee, pretty dope graphic on it. One of those uh, custom made tees, I guess you could say. It says Spurs Selfie, and you could tell just because of the Spurs, the way it looks. Has most of the players uh, from back in the day. Got a Disney Pixar, you can see the tag, still looking new, size large. Got Wally T, got a large Psycho Bunny T. Uh, I don't know why this brand's kicking off, but it is what it is. Has that Psycho Bunny thing. I might scoop this one just because I know the pricing on these shirts is kind of up there. Got a Batman T with like a flow vibe to it. Something different. Got that Disney Store T, size medium. That big graphic on the front, probably nothing in the back. Yeah, nothing in the back. The graphic looks pretty cool on it though. This is Guadalajara, Mexico on it. Got that jerseys, size large, Team Canelo. It says the what? The face of boxing and then hashtag Team Canelo. I'm gonna take that. Right behind that we got like a I guess what you were about the gift shop probably, MGM Grand Las Vegas. And it just has that logo on the front. Nothing crazy, but yeah. 
this one right here, 2014 NBA champion, Spurs locker room edition. And it looks clean like the whole tee except for this right here. But for three bucks, I'll still cop it. The Majestic Nationals tee, kind of like a button up. There's number one on the back. This was just a regular custom tee. It says Hanes tag list with it on the side. It says Hanes Authentic Original by Hanes. And this has writing throughout the whole thing. Not bad. Got this one right here, 2XL. Still has a tag, which is crazy. It's 2003. Got that official Breaking Bad. So it's 2X, but it has that Breaking Bad logo. With the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> this has a Velcro on the back for the cake. Alright, and we got this right here. Team Apparel, Triple Peak. It is a size medium. The shirt is a little bit warm, but it ain't bad. Atlanta Falcons on the front. See, so it has that Pro Football Hall of Fame logo. And of course, we got Sanders on the back, number 21. Definitely gonna scoop this. And we got this one, I don't know if you call it vintage, but it's from 02 apparently. Still has the actual, I guess the San Antonio official merchandise. From 02, that's crazy. Got that teamwork athletic apparel. Looks like it might have been, I don't know, custom made or something. It does have a Giants logo, but I don't know. We got the Nike Dry Fit. It is a size small though. If not, I'd probably take it for me. San Antonio FC, the local local team from here. It's pretty cool. And it still looks new. It's crazy. The Toby Keith T right here. It's courtesy of the red, white, and blue. Got the kids extra large UTSA jersey. It still looks new, but kid size stuff I think is a little bit harder to sell. It says Roadrunners on the back. So I'm going to leave it in here for whoever needs it. And right as we're ending, basically the end of the line, I saw the Spurs tee. But the only thing is, I don't know if it's just a, a newer tee that's cracked on somebody and they washed it a lot, or if it's an old tee, there's no year on it, but I like the way it looks. I don't know. All right, guys, so they're just closing up. Uh, we found a good amount of stuff. We're gonna go over and we get back to the house. I guess it's gonna be its own video, but uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff, guys. So I'm not gonna talk too much. We'll get we'll get into it when I get back to the house. Y'all saw most of the stuff I picked up, or I was aiming to pick up. So yeah, we'll get into it in a little bit. All right, guys, and we're back in here. We have a lot of stuff. Ugh, I might have to use this for the thumbnail because my thumbnail wasn't really great. Y'all see what it is. But basically, first thing I bought right here were three shelves. I don't know where the folk is. There we go. Some Ikea shelves. They're smaller shelves. They're not the biggest thing. You can see the size by the way I'm holding them. But I got them for three bucks a piece. At Ikea, they go for like seven bucks. So I thought it was a little bit of a deal. And instead of making a shelving system or another shelving system or like a, a small shelf in the shoe room, I can just put these floating shelves up. It'll make it easier for me to display the couple things that I want to display. And it'll give me less room to put stuff so that way I make sure it looks clean and yeah. Anyway, let's jump into the shirts because we do got a few of them. And uh, yeah, we bought a few of them. That's a receipt right there. I guess I'll just start putting them out. This one I bought just because it looks brand new. Y'all saw it in the video, that San Antonio FC jersey. It is a size small. So we'll see how that goes. Cause I know those jerseys cost a little bit of grip. So I figured I might as well pick it up. I got this Led Zeppelin tee. I know it's a newer tee, somebody made it, but the way it has the graphic all over and it kind of looks vintage, looks like a pretty dope tee. Something you can get without having to spend the money on an actual vintage tee that goes for who knows how much. Um, but yeah, basically I haven't washed these. Let me throw those on the floor instead of on my couch. And uh, yeah. The next tee, I had to get it. I said it in the video that I was going to get it. Is that Hall of Fame Atlanta Falcons Sanders tee. That 21, I had to get it. Just nostalgic purposes. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it yet. So hit me up. Uh, this one was, what size was it? It was a medium. Yeah, it was a medium. It looks like a large to me. It doesn't look too small. So yeah, might be keeping it. Might be selling it. Just depends. And like I said, I'm trying not to make this video too long. So I'm going to keep going. 
Y'all saw the rocket tee during the thing. This one I might be passing to a, uh, one of the family, uh, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> this one I showed y'all and I said it in the video, I wanna use it for a tie-dye project. Since it does have a stain, everything else is pretty clean and I could probably do like a blue and gray or something, make it look dope. This Bucky's tee, my wife's eyeballing it, so I'm not even sure if it's gonna make it to the site. So if you want, you can DM me and hit me up about this one. But uh, yeah, this one's a size medium. And uh, yeah, my wife might take over this one. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, we got a few shirts. This Dallas Cowboy tee, I could not pass on it. It's still in good condition. Doesn't look faded or anything like that. Has that little logo on the side or whatever. So I went and scooped that. You already know what it is with the Cowboys. Usually I don't really buy Adidas tees, but well, this one, this one's vintage, so it is what it is, but uh, this one right here, I just had to buy it. I know somebody will like it, so I'm hoping to pa pass it forward to her to somebody uh, that rocks Adidas. But yeah, that'll be on the site pretty soon. This one is, what size was it? Size medium. It looks like a medium, maybe a large, so not too small. This one was a double XL. I had to pick it up just because yeah, it needs a good cleaning. Everything does get washed though before it hits the site. So this will definitely be washed. That Breaking Bad tee. Uh, next up, this one I just bought it because it had the tags and everything brand new from 03. The NYPD. It is a double X. So if you're interested in that, just hit me up. I'll probably be posting this in the next few days. I already have a lot of stuff on the site. So I'm not sure how much I have limits on it right now. So yeah, this one right here was super, super fresh and super clean. Uh, but it had that little stain that I showed in the video. I may be cutting off the sleeves on this one. I may do a tie dye. I just figured for that price and the way it looks so clean, like they've never worn it since they got it. I had to scoop it up. I couldn't leave it in there. Now, this next tee, of course, I told y'all and y'all saw that I, I was picking it up. So that Canelo tee made it here at the house. Um, it is a size large. I'll most likely be selling it. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see, I might be keeping it, but if you're interested, hit me up, let me know. I may be keeping it though, since it is my size. Uh, this one right here is a size large as well. That Psycho Bunny T, I hear a car passing, but that Psycho Bunny T, I just know, I Googled something similar to this, and it was going for 50 bucks for a small, uh, just plain T like that, so it was a no brainer to keep that in there. And uh, we're done, that's the end of the bag. All those pickups, I just wanted to go through them as quick as quickly as possible to make the video not that long. I'm trying to keep them as short as possible, guys. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. We found a good amount of stuff in there. I gotta wash all this stuff, but I'm actually headed out the door right now as soon as I edit this video and put it up. So yeah, on my grind, gotta get out there and see what they got. You know what it is, always, always hustling. Anyway, guys, hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe so you too can be part of that 210 Guy Kicks fam. And I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all for rocking with the channel, spreading it, showing love in the comments, uh, hitting that thumbs up as always, guys. Really does go a long way for other people to find the channel. And if you ever want to hit me up about anything, you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm on there most of the time. Sometimes I'm busy and stuff, but I won't respond for a little while, but I'll get back to you for sure. And uh, IG, I am on there as well, but I'm not as active on IG as I am on Twitter. So yeah, and it is 2 and 0 guy kicks just like the channel, guys. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Talked enough, showed you what I had. Time to move on to the next one and see what else we can find today. But anyway, it's your boy Tony with 2 and 0 guy kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Peace, guys. To the next one.